What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. As you guys can see on the screen, we have completed the seventh inning program. I did complete it last night. I did not do the video last night just because I was really, really tired because I was out late the previous night, but we have completed it. And today I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to complete it fast. So if you guys could leave a like down below, that definitely would help me out a ton. Subscribe if you guys are new. We have Tom Seaver gameplay coming out later tonight. So really excited to bring that forward to you but let's get right into it so now this one is different than in the past because we have the signature team moments which give you 90 stars and we didn't have that in the past so um i think that is the reason why these cards are going for so cheap right now um quickly i want to say uh i did have the voucher obviously but zero out of ten would not recommend the voucher cost me like three hundred and seventy-five thousand stubs and these cards are going for 215 by now and even when i completed it they were only going for like 280 so i was not able to make my stubs back on the voucher but of course i also did get three pretty bang and 99 signatures but that started off with the moments because this is really what we're looking for to starting out getting our stars with the seventh inning program moments i don't know exactly how many stars are thin here but there is a good amount um this one is pretty obvious pitch one inning do not give up a hit don't walk one batter pretty easy nothing really um that i should have to give you tips for there pretty self-explanatory this one tally 13 total bases this one was not that difficult either i do always recommend I don't personally find guys like Ichiro all that great on the computer, personally. Against real humans, I think Ichiro is great, but against the computer, I would rather have somebody with a little bit more power. Somebody like a Bryce Harper is usually what I would recommend. You are facing the National, so you are facing Tom Seaver, so if you want to stack your lineup with lefties, that would not be a bad idea right there at all. On to this next one, you are uh, basically entering the ninth inning with your Diamond Dynasty team, break up the Shout out to come from behind win against Sieber. I believe you're just losing by one or two runs. Once again, all not that difficult, but now that you know it is against Tom Seaver, just prepare and stack your lineup with lefties. You know, put in Lou Gehrig if you have him, put in Bryce Harper, put in the Billy Williams from Healy Sony partner moments, and that should help you out a bit as long as you have that favorable matchup going through and going forward. Once again, right here, strike out one batter. This is not all that difficult. Um, you're literally striking out Tom Seaver on Hall of fame difficulty uh, i was using clayton kershaw this was not that difficult once again here you have to mount a two-run comeback starting in the seventh inning um this is the boss battle so once again you are going to face tom sieber um so i'm gonna say the same thing stack your lineup with lefties and that is going to help you out in general i would just say this is an all-star focus in wait for your pitch hardly ever swing i would usually never swing at the first pitch um, probably not until there's two strikes or at least one strike to be honest with you wait for fastballs and then just drive them once they are thrown to you and you shouldn't have all that too much difficulty with those here we have tally eight total bases with Jeff Bagwell um, now I do always recommend to power swing using the square button whenever you're doing t uh, total bases because you're going to need extra base hits um, for these and Jeff Bagwell is not batting first so you're going to already limit yourself on how many at bats you're gonna get um this isn't playing in minute Maid park so just try to pull them and hit it over the wall over the train tracks and that wasn't too hard for me here we have hit one home run and steal one base i do quickly want to hop into this one um i see a lot of people asking how do you steal bases in moments so i quickly want to give you guys one of my tips um and i don't know exactly how easy it's going to be to show you guys because i have to get on base but pretty much the premise of what you're going to want to do is this button if you've ever played road to the show you're going to know exactly what i'm talking about this button right here is going to zoom in um i guess it's called the right analog stick if i I'm going to be technical you're going to zoom in with that or i think it's actually the left analog stick it'd be a lot easier hopefully we can get on base right here and then you're just going to be zoomed in and you're going to be able to see exactly once he starts that motion and you're going to be able to head out and try to steal that base that's what i would recommend i don't think you ever have to take a step from first base but i would say to hit the r1 and that is going to make you leaning towards and that should give you all the jump that you really need andre dawson already has a good amount of speed and stealing you don't really need all that much else in my opinion so i'm going to try this at bat if we can 
can get on base we'll get on base and i can hopefully show you guys actually if we walk that could be pretty dope that def uh that would get us on base but there would not be an open base um so i guess it's not going to work out but pretty much you're just going to use the left analog stick to zoom in um and you're not going to take a step you're just going to hit the r1 and that is going to have you leading towards um leaning towards second base or third base no uh depending on where you are and it should be easier to get a stolen base from there um so a lot of people always ask me how do you get stolen bases that's kind of what uh frustrates me so there you go this one in particular i would recommend try to get that home run so maybe um keep quitting out keep restarting until you get the home run of the first at bat because you don't want to like get a stolen base or you know you just want to make sure that you have everything first this one i did have to do a couple times so i would say restart until you hit the home run on your first at bat then you have the rest of the game to try to get on base and steal a base so that's what i would say for this one just pitch one shutout you start in the eighth inning it's just pitching two innings um as long as you mix your pitches fastballs up high and then work with your breaking pitches the 12-6 and the slider pretty much do not think the change is even a pitch for tom siever you should be able to have a pretty easy job with that one tally three hits and an extra base hit with andre dawson i did power swing with this one once again i didn't have too much issues with it um it goes for the same thing whenever it's a hitting mission just wait for your pitch and you should be able to drive it hit one home run with jeff bagwell what i will say for this is i would go into your settings and put it on a uh, pure or not pure analog but um directional hitting because what you're going to want to do if it's on directional hitting all you have to do is point your left analog stick um, that way so as long as you have it like that and it's going to be inverse uh, basically point it to the left you know point it to the top left and that is going to help you pull and drive that ball so if it's a fastball down the middle you don't have to worry about lining your pci up and i found more success doing that uh opposed to having actual zone hitting so i would recommend that and then the final one of course is the boss battle once again just wait for your pitches on um, three inning game there's not really too much else i can say with that just you know don't swing until uh there's at least one strike on you do never swing at the first pitch and wait it out if it's not there do not swing so that's those moments the signature teams are pretty self-explanatory um they're just three inning games there's not much else i can tell you but the same thing once again there's no actual objective other than to win the game wait for your pitch they're all on veteran difficulty um there you do have a bullpen so and it doesn't matter with the stamina so if you don't like the starter just go ahead and take him out and bring somebody in for the bullpen actually you're using your own team that's what i would do a lot of times i would just bring in trevor hoffman really good per nine so they would never hit him and i was pretty much on cruise control from there on out these games take about 10 minutes i found them really easy to do as long as you can get like two one or two runs and then kind of just bunt your way through it and make it go as fast as possible signature teams should be no issue for you at all so that's those conquest i do want to talk about originally i was not planning on doing the conquest of course i have done it because there's 11 strongholds compared to the uh five that you have to do in the last one so it's more the double the work that you have to do and i just find it to be a lot more annoying personally but for this what i would recommend what i always do in conquest is i always just try to grab as many hexagons as possible build up your areas because that's what's going to be able to get you more fans within these reinforced stages and what you're always going to aim to do do not try to create a pipeline that is going to bite you in the ass in the long run always try to give yourself space um so you do not have a pipeline like this what i mean because if somebody let's say the mets came out and they cut off that pipeline i can no longer deliver and reinforce fans from those two because they will be separated so just go on from there you only have to do one steal fans which is steal two million fans i just did it on veteran i think i played the marlins because they're ass obviously um so that's what i would say i'm pretty sure i went to the nationals went here then i went to the marlins then i just went from left all the way down to the mets that's what i was doing for the ones that they have one stronghold you'll notice the reds the mets and the astros have one and the giants actually two have uh, two strongholds one stronghold with one fan i would not recommend to play those right away leave those towards last because they're not gonna do any damage to you um if you have have like one hexagon right there they're not going to go out and attack you so i would wait until the last part for those um 
and otherwise just keep on moving i would play the stronghold games as soon as you get to them i didn't play anything above veteran difficulty that's the way i was working out i never had to do more than one steel fans phase and it was pretty easy i would say for the most part as long as you're not trying to create a pipeline as long as you're giving yourself room and creating kind of a boundary um uh, it should really be that uh it should be pretty easy for you necessarily if you guys have any more questions with conquest please let me know down below in the comment section it's sometimes kind of hard to give tips uh towards certain things um because you never really know what uh problems are going to arise with certain people's scenarios because conquest is really hit or miss sometimes there's going to be some really random stuff right there um for example i once had like 30 fans um and i was doing a simulation against like 15 and and I lost so you know it is really random so I will say that that really is going to get you the majority like I said there's 90 within on um, the signature teams there's a bunch in the moments and then in the conquest so after I completed those um, and the voucher and my uh, daily missions, which reminder to always do those, you can stack those, which is always what I recommend before you get into those. I would not say that you need to do the 10 wins online unless you're going for Stanton, then kind of kill two birds with one stone. But if you didn't have the voucher, I'll quickly go over what I was talking about in my last video, a good way in order to get these, um, a good way in order to get uh, stars not through diamond dynasty basically what you're gonna want to do and this time i will announce uh last time i kind of did it after the fact um i did have a roster it's called inning z by gomes the legend go ahead and look in the roster vault and what that's gonna do is you're going to need two controllers for this i talked about it more in that video if you want to see a full de uh in-depth explanation it's going to be up in the top right hand corner basically we have two 99 maxed out pitches maxed out control they have like the fastest wind up or fastest delivery you're going to find alex claudio is the one that i picked um so you're gonna have two teams with that i have the rays and the red Sox, ryan yarbrough and chris sale you're gonna have those two all the players are at zero stats so that will come into effect a little bit later on we are going to use sliders to just make it a little bit better um, and the reason for the sliders it's just going to make it so you're going to throw strikes um, because you guys will see that is definitely important you're just going to go into a play now game uh, you're going to load this up remember like I said two controllers is what we're going to look for um, at least the way that I have done it so you're going to have it like this make sure that it is on fast play I don't think the theme really matters fast play and quick counts is really what we're looking for select those 299 overall pitchers once again all the hitters are at zero stand zero contact power vision and everything because with quick counts what that does is something i learned last year is if you don't have high vision or discipline it's going to have a lot of deep or not deeper counts counts already coming with two strikes so you're not going to have to do that much work and this is pretty much a mindless grind it is not fun by any means i would definitely recommend turn on netflix you know turn on a youtube video a podcast something like that and this is all we're going to do is we're just going to repeatedly tap the x button over and over again uh actually i am on pure analog something you're going to want to do is make sure you're on classic pitching is another thing that i meant to say right there uh, because classic you're just going to be able to tap the button repeatedly and you're pretty much going to go from there like i said with these stats or with these sliders and attributes with these pitches they're pretty much going to throw strikes each and every single time so you really don't even have to look at it in a sense you can do whatever watch whatever you want on your computer on your tv whatever the case may be on your phone and you're just going to keep tapping the x button right here we're going to get done with the inning and then we're going to switch over onto the other controller this is the home team so i will try to score a run and once again i don't have peer i don't have classic pitching enabled on both so we're going to go ahead and do that really quick but what i always do in the first inning is i make sure to score my runs so we're just going to try try to pretty much hit the ball and then we're gonna go from there uh, Mookie bets uh, and now we're just gonna move them towards home and we're gonna let him score um, so that one run it's the home team this is just going to make sure that the game is suitable to end once we get into the ninth inning and we don't have to play the latter half um, because as far as I know 
you don't want this game to go into extra innings and you're just going to repeat that cycle repeat that process entirely throughout the game and that's pretty much all that you're going to have to do you get through a game you get a star or two sometimes it is two stars sometimes it is one it might not immediately show up what you're going to want to do is go into the program and obviously i didn't earn one there because i played one inning or half an inning um, but you're just going to go into the program and once you back out it should showcase that you do have that star to two stars it's usually like 1.2 1.3 stars or something like that that you do earn so sometimes it'll show up as two sometimes one but that is how i completed the seventh inning program fast like i said i did have the voucher so i was able to complete it faster quick tip if you get it done go ahead and sell the card i think they are going to go down quite substantially just for the fact that it is a lot easier to do with the 90 stars and signature teams but this video is already quite long i'm going to leave it there if you guys enjoyed please make sure to leave a like down below any other questions comments concerns please leave down below in the comment section i'll be glad to go ahead and answer those and give you guys any assistance that i possibly can but hope you guys are great today there goes